Hey, you know who this guy is? <laughs> it's Daniel Webster. What is his name? Yeah, he ain't working. That's Daniel Webster, right? He was a uh, still in Central Park. He was uh, about 1820s. He was a big uh, senator, congressman. And he's got a big statue here in Central Park, right? For no other reason. Uh, the real reason, you want to know the real reason why he's here? Uh, I'll tell you why. Because look at his hand, right? right? Look at his hand. This is one of the rare opportunities you get to see a politician with his hand in his own pocket. <laughs> oh. Ah, so... <laughs> Joystick is showing you the sky. Ah, so where are we now? So let's keep on the theme of revolution. Say you want a revolution. Well, you know, we all want to change the world. You know where I'm going, right? You know where I'm going. You know who I'm going to visit now, right? Ah, we saw the politician with his hand in his own pocket. Great senator. I'm, I'm only kidding. He, he lobbied for a uh, bigger government. They should knock his uh, federal, bigger federal government, Webster. <clears throat> As a senator, they should take his statue down. <laughs> Not Christopher Columbus. That's a joke. History is history. You leave those guys up, man. They're great Americans. Great Americans. You say you want a revolution. Wait, I'm going to start pushing tourists out of the way in a second. Get out of my way. I'm in a quiet zone. It's a quiet zone. Shh. Be quiet. So we're going up to the revolutionary. What's the real power? Is it in politics? great oration orators that's what Webster was he's a big mouth big mouthpiece like Trump ability to speak and be heard no guns pen mouth I'll do a quickie so you want to be a revolutionary right? so where am I it's a little crowded over here I just want to show you where I am so John Lennon I'm a strawberry feels forever. And you'll always hear somebody singing a bad Beatles cover. I'll try to avoid <laughs> going near those idiots. You hear them already, you know? Uh, it's howling, howling for dollars. <laughs> so this is Strawberry Fields. This was one of John Lennon's favorite spots in Central Park. And uh, he used to come over here and he used to walk. And he wrote the song, you know, well, he didn't write the song. The song, the place was named after, after he died, Yoko. He actually didn't want a, a, a monument to John Lennon in the park. Why? Because he wasn't an American, right? He wasn't, he's not an American, right? And nobody, there's nobody in the park that's, no monuments in the park are dedicated to anybody else but Americans. But, well, there is actually a few of them, but... But then Yoko Ono donated like $3 million to the city of New York, and then they gave him the spot. <laughs> Money talks in New York, right? So, uh, we'll go look at the, the uh, go look at the, the plaque. Let's push some people out of the way, maybe we get a good look at it. <laughs> Living with eyes closed. <laughs> They're fucking great artists, right? Artists. Remember when we had artists? Remember when we had artists to actually speak and and be heard? Remember that shit? I'm just gonna push right on. Hold on a second. Everybody wants to take a picture with John. Everybody wants to take a picture with John Lennon. That's a decent cover. So that's the John Lennon mod. That's a little, little plaque. This is take two. I think I. what happened was you're seeing me ten minutes later. <laughs> Something shorted out. <laughs> Fucking technical problem. Anyway, here we are. So I'm coming out. I forgot what I was saying. So yeah, so we come out. So John Lennon, the great revolutionary. So a great senator. Daniel Webster. His hand in his own pocket for a change. <laughs> fucking, fucking guys, eh? Who's got their hand in your pocket? 
It's a good joke, man. It's good material. You better, better not forget that shit. <laughs> My wire's hanging. So, John Lennon, that was his favorite spot in the whole world, right? And he was a great revolutionary. And guess what? Here's where he used to live. Right? So right there's the Dakota building. That was John Lennon's uh, last residence in New York. And you see right there, that one right there. See that window? I'm gonna put my finger right on it. Pow, right there. That's where the white piano is, John Lennon's white piano. And you see, it's like he lived right across the street. That's why they, that was one of his favorite spots in the park. Yoko still lives there, so does, uh, I think, Sean Lennon. Yeah, Sean, one of the sons. There's Julian who lives in England. Sean lives up there with Yoko. Lives with his mommy. <laughs> Plays his music. He, he's in a band called The Ghost of a Sabertooth Tiger. It's pretty good. It was good. He had this hot chick, right? He's got this, because, you know, hey, fuck it, he's a, he's a Lennon, right? He's got this hot chick singing with him. I mean, hot. Like super hot. <laughs> There's a minimal talent. He wasn't, he's not his father, that's for sure. So anyway, I'm walking across the street. I just walked across uh, Central Park West and um, 72nd Street. And this is, this is kind of ugly. This is where John Lennon got shot. I'm gonna show you where it goes. So on that day, December 8th, 2000, December 8th, 1980. So that's the front door right there. And um, you see that the, the buildings, the apartments inside, the, inside there are built around the fountain and all the facades face in. And on the outside, what you have is really just the backs of the apartments. That's how the thing is designed. It's like a fortress. You can lock the door in. You, in the old days, you could ride your horse and carriage into the car. So on December 8th, 1980, that winter day, remember Lennon, he was so happy he came out, he was doing his, um, he was making a new album, remember? Revolutionary, right? He had been hanging out with his kid for like five years and nobody saw him, he was so happy. He came out and he was recording. And he came, he got out of, the, he got out of a cab right over here. Right? Somewhere over here. Somewhere over here, I got, I got kicked out of the spot. Right. And um, so he was he was hanging out here. Right? I forgot what I was saying. This jerk off got threw off my stride. Anyway, he, um, he came walking out. He came out of the cab and he was walking in, just like this guy right here. See this? Except he walked right into the building. Well, maybe he's not a jerk off. He just, he just made my case. And... Um, and what's his name? Hinckley, I think his name was, or Mark Chapman, I forget. I got uh, Hinckley, right? That jerk off, right? Shot him. And Lennon stumbled back into the, he stumbled his way back into the door. And then right over here somewhere, right by the bus stop, that guy was, uh, you remember he, he was, they found him sitting there waiting for the police, the shooter, reading uh, Catcher in the Rye. Little psycho. Anyway, New York history, right? It's definitely New York history. Try to get across the street without getting killed again. <laughs> so anyway, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a day to. Wa I'm walking around in the city, you know, reflecting on. It's approaching 90 degrees again, so I'm going to kill it. <laughs> um, I don't know, a little walking tour for you guys. You guys are not from New York. This is all second nature to me. I fucking grew up here. Go to the You know? Oh, yo, go. <laughs> oh, yo, go. <laughs> fucking Yoko Ono. You see her out here sometimes. No picture, no picture. So you're walking around. So anyway, revolution, that's what we're talking about, right? John Lennon believed it. Was a CIA hit? Was an FBI hit? 
Did they, did they kill him? Is he in the same category as, you know, Kennedy? Powerful oration, powerful speaker, right? He said he used the guitar. He meant it, man. Fucking John Lennon meant it. It's no joke. No joke at all, man. And it was Marcus Conti reporting. 